Today marks 22 years since 13 people lost their lives in the Columbine High School shooting. KRDO News Channel 13 Sydney Stell spoke with one of the survivors from that day. Sydney. Kevin Parker lives in Washington now, but a piece of him will always be here in Colorado. He was a 25 year old volunteer at Columbine High School when shots rang out on this day all those years ago. The first gunshots I heard, I remember thinking they were blanks. Uh, they just it was just surreal to hear gunshots in a high school. At first, Kevin Parker didn't know what was going on. He walked into the cafeteria at Columbine High School, hoping to meet a student for lunch when he first heard it. Sporadic shots outside the cafeteria. I mean, we knew it was a, a very serious situation, but at the same time, it also seemed so surreal. In the packed cafeteria, he took cover. So the janitor and Dave Sanders um, started running the periphery of the cafeteria yelling everyone to get down, get down. And they saved a lot of lives that day because there were 500 of us in the cafeteria. Dave Sanders was one of the 13 people who died that day. And those who lived saw their lives change forever. I wouldn't sit with my back to the door of a restaurant for the first year or two that followed. And I remember thinking I always wanted to know the escape route if anything happens. And sometimes I still do that. Kevin moved from Colorado a couple years after the shooting. He still keeps in touch with a few of the students from Columbine. He's glad that some took action after the shooting to prevent further tragedy, like legislation to set up an anonymous tip line for students. We know if you see something, say something. We know mental health is really important. So those are all things that we've been learning in the last 22 years that have, that have probably stopped some school shootings. As the years go on, each anniversary impacts Kevin a little differently. It's in the back of my mind for the entire day, um, but I'm, I'm just thinking, Compared to where I was 22 years ago at 1120, I'm really glad where I am now. Now today, Kevin told me that shooters in these situations are often more remembered than the victims. So he asks you to keep those 13 people and their families in your thoughts today. In the newsroom, I'm Sydney Stell, KRDO News Channel 13.